Hi guys, this is Elaine Giba from Rebalance Physical Therapy in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and in Narberth, Pennsylvania. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about what you should be drinking when you're exercising or running. Uh, basically this came about because I'm training for the Philadelphia Half Marathon and I had bought a bunch of sports drinks to drink before I went out for my longer runs and I kept finding that I would hit this wall. Like I would be going and then all of a sudden I'd be like, I have to stop, I have to walk. So I looked into my training program to kind of see where did I think the problem could come from and I thought maybe it's coming from the sports drinks. So I started to look into what is the best thing to drink before, during, and after. So basically looking into the research, there's some pretty obvious things to avoid. Uh, caffeine, so coffees and teas that have caffeine in them, you obviously don't want to maybe do that while you're running or exercising. Also alcohol, which can dehydrate you, and drinks that have a lot of sugar, like soda um, or uh, fruit juices that have more than 8% sugar content in them. So that kind of leaves us with water and sports drinks. And the thing with sports drinks is they actually do have a lot of sugar in them. A 32 ounce bottle of Gatorade can have as much as 56 grams of uh, sugar. If you don't know a lot about uh, sugar, the American Heart Association recommends that females only have about 25 grams of added sugar a day and men about 37 and a half grams. So uh, one of those big Gatorade bottles could be double the female, what a female should take in in their day. So when you're exercising, there's two things that your body needs. During the exercise, it needs to rehydrate. It needs to get water content into the body. You can do that through water or sports drinks. Afterwards, it needs to replenish electrolytes. So what are electrolytes? Electrolytes are these salts and minerals that help with muscle contraction, nerve impulses in the body, it can help with fluid balance, they also um, make energy for the body. So very important to be uh, uh, replenished after you do the exercise. And I think Hina had talked in a previous video about headaches and how electrolyte control can help with headaches post um, running. So back to what should you drink during exercise? So basically you want something that's going to be absorbed into the system as quick as possible. And that, the number one thing is water. So drinking water before and during exercise is the best thing you can do. Now, if you start to exercise over 60 to 90 minutes, that's when your body really starts to deplete out the electrolytes. So you may need to then switch over to a sports drink or add it in with water. Um, so if you're exercising over 60 to 90 minutes, but if it's under 60 minutes, water's all you need. Now, the other thing that goes into play is the glycemic response. So, and this is what was, would happen to me is that sometimes if you drink a sports drink beforehand, your body immediately, they have glucose in them, which is a monosaccharide, a simple sugar, and that will immediately go kind of towards the blood to raise your blood sugar. And then your body goes, Oh God, blood sugar's high, and it drops the blood sugar really quickly. And sometimes that drop can cause you to go into a, almost a hypoglycemic state where you feel like you hit the wall. Like you just feel sluggish and sometimes dizzy or lightheaded and you can't pick up your legs and muscles aren't firing appropriately. You've gone into a hypoglycemic state. So you've taken yourself into a really hyper to a really hypoglycemic state, low blood sugar. Um, so again, if you drink water, you don't have these spikes in the blood sugar at that response. And if you haven't repleted or taken out your electrolytes yet, then you don't need to replenish them till you're finished. So um, dur basically to summarize, during or before and during exercise, water is the best. After you exercise, water is great, but you may need to take a sport, uh, drink a sports drink to replenish those electrolytes at that time. But you may wanna look into one that has a little bit less sugar content, or don't drink the entire 32 ounce of bottle of Gatorade, just drink half of it, or get the smaller ones and drink water with it. Your body will eventually normalize that electrolyte imbalance, but if you're doing really long runs, we know we're talking marathon training, um, then you may need to be giving your, your body a little bit more fuel while you're exercising too. And that's about it. So if you'd like to see more videos of ours, you can visit our YouTube channel at Re uh, Rebounds Physical Therapy. You can also follow us on 
uh, social media and Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.